What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. I'm fixing to do a little bit of cast and blast. Blackfin tuna, wild turkey that we just killed in Nebraska. And for those of y'all that follow along, you know we just got home from there because you've already seen my tadpole video. Giant tadpoles that we caught, cleaned, and cooked in a lake right there in Nebraska. And as if you ask Lowell and Tanner, they said they tasted great. How about a leg? <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Can I see it's not that bad. Oh, nice okay. and crunchy. It's not that bad at all. So we got home two days ago. Yesterday I went offshore by myself just to unwind, go out and do some fishing. I stopped like normal, caught some live bait, and there was more bait than I think I've seen in a long time. Using a sabiki rig, I quickly sabiki rigged up about two or three dozen and I headed offshore. When I got offshore, the current was screaming like 5.5 knots and for those of y'all that don't live here on the east coast that's screaming like you can't walk five miles an hour so it's hard to fish it well i ended up dropping down and catching a couple black fins really quick and then i caught the trophy of the day y'all check this thing out in 520 foot of water using a vertical jig, a Johnny jig, I caught the trophy of a lifetime. That's a long tail bass and I've always wanted to catch one. So we're gonna start with this fish first because I wanna mount it. See all my mounts on the wall? I always said if I ever catch one of these, I wanna mount it. And you can actually eat the fish and still get it mounted. You just gotta take measurements. So it is right at 20 inches long from the tip of its mouth to the tip of its tail. And then it is a six inch girth. So really that would be probably about a 14 inch girth if you double that and then add an inch and an inch. So now all I gotta do is take a good picture of it, send it to my guys at Grace, give them the measurements and the girth. And before you know it, it's gonna be right up there on that wall. Before I go any further, I gotta give a huge shout out to Farmer's Dog for sponsoring this video. You ready, Redneck? It's fresh dog food and it's delivered straight to your door. He is great at football. He's terrible at bringing it back. He should probably play on the defensive side of any team he's on. So you guys know that a huge part of my channel, Kelly Young's channel, my brother Deer Meat for Dinner's channel is the outdoors. We catch things, we clean them, and we cook them. So we're always trying to eat fresh, organic, wild food. So why would I feed my dog anything else? Now, ever since I started using the farmer's dog, Redneck actually loves eating, and you can clearly see the difference. He has more energy, way better breath, and a healthier weight. Now, one of the coolest things about farmer's dog and their dog food is they have a variety, chicken, beef, turkey, which is just like us when we're out in the wild hunting, except for the cow part. We actually gotta go to the store and buy that. Redneck, are you ready? Down, set, hunt. Now everybody knows our pets are our families and especially Redneck and I'm sure your dog as well. So head to the link in the description below this video. Click that link and you'll get 50% off your order from Farmer's Dog. I've never ate one, never cleaned one. I've really never seen one in person. I've seen plenty of pictures of them. But when that fish popped up yesterday, I was beyond stoked. I'm gonna clean this fish real quick and I'm gonna show you Luke's, probably Luke's best hunt ever. We're in a blind in Nebraska, just wait and see. So for some reason, I always like starting on this side. Come in here. I like to cut towards the head. Got my wire glove. I can already tell you the meat looks amazing. When I get down here near the tail, I just poke it through. Turn my knife around, come back up. Now this is the part that so many people struggle with. Hear that pop? That's all you have to do. And that's actually how I cut myself the time in the Bahamas. I didn't do that right there. And once you do that, you can just pop it just like that. It's pretty clean looking meat. Looks like grouper to be honest with you. I felt bad killing the fish, but when you catch them that, deep you can't turn them loose i mean i guess you could try to use one of those devices where you can send it back down but who knows if those things really work or not i know like you know two three four hundred foot of water but you start getting in 500 foot of water with the current that we had this fish would have been a long ways from home when he got back 
Again, listen, pop that pin bone. If you get that popped at the beginning, you won't struggle so hard at the end. Now, turn it around right here. Done. I guarantee you this will be good fried and panko. Or grilled or baked or steamed or however else you want to do it. Somebody left a comment on my Instagram and said it's like fried mashed potatoes. More than likely they overcooked it. It doesn't get any prettier than that. So while I go ahead and skin this other flight and get some of this other fish ready to cook, let's take it back to Nebraska. Me, Tanner, Sutton, and my son Luke are in a blind together. We've got two big gobblers gobbling their head off behind us. We know they're coming in. The decoys are in front of us at 20 yards. Luke's up to bat. He's got a 410. Just watch how he handles himself under some serious pressure. Guys, let's go get my bird. You ready? Come on. Dude, you killed a monster, Luke. Yeah, I killed the monster. Come on, son. Luke, look at this huge bird you got. Give me a high five and a hug. Yeah. I love you. Giant. Oh. Here. Look at all the feathers I hear. All right, let's go check mine out real quick and we'll come back and get them both. Get back in the blind and try to get Miss Sutton her first bird ever. Are you ready? She was so nervous, and in her defense, I was nervous too. Yep, Luke laid the absolute hammer down on that bird. I actually ended up killing the second one. I tried to, because the second bird went off behind us, or off almost behind us, way off to the side of us. Still fired up, still gobbling but I didn't think he was gonna come back in front of us for Sutton to take a shot. So I stuck my, 
my cell phone out the window and I shot it one-handed and you can see it die just really far on the right hand side of the screen. But now next up is the black bin tuna. So we're going to do turkey kebabs with pineapple. We're going to do some pan seared long tail and we're going to do some tuna sashimi appetizer. These little black fins like this are just as good, if not better, than the big tuna you see us catch. Look at that. Now I'm gonna put this back on ice and clean the rest of it in a minute because I want this board to be really, really clean while I'm dealing with this. I'm gonna get a paper towel because we are gonna eat it raw. If you watch any good sushi chef, they're always cleaning their cutting board because you are dealing with raw fish. Now when I skin a tuna like this, I don't wanna just bury the knife onto the flay, onto the actual skin itself. I wanna keep it up off of it just a little bit. this big chunk of bloodline out. Now I bled this fish. I actually put it in my bait well while it was alive, popped its gill and bled it. And there's still a big bloodline in there. That's all right. Cause our fish in our aquarium will be super excited. Like if you ate a bite of that right there, it, it's not terrible and you can eat it. It just gets really, really fishy. So I'm going to take this piece. I'm going to put it straight in the refrigerator right now. So next up is the turkey. Now, if you look at that, that doesn't look really eye pleasing. That's because there's a membrane on top of this meat that if you skin it just like a fish, you can get it off really easily. You got to remember this turkey right here was raised in the wild. No hormones, no steroids. I think a lot of people would have a heart attack if they knew just how much hormones and steroids that they pump into the, a lot of the meat, the animals that we eat to get them as big and fat and plump as they get them in the time that they get them that way. See, it looks a lot better now. A couple little pellets went through there, but it's no big deal. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to take this and cube it up, trim a little bit more off of it. And I'm going to marinate it just for a little while. But in the meantime, I want to take it back to Nebraska to Machina's house and Joey, who are really, really close friends with Tanner's. They're starting to not like full fledged homestead, but they're getting close. I want to take it back. I was so excited to take my kids there and Kelly and just look at these animals and watch how we milk this cow. I got to ask you a question. I know your kids are feeding, but can I have, can I let my, one of my kids have a, a drink? Sutton, go get Luke. She just said yes. Look at her, she's so nice. Come here, girl. All right, y'all, we gotta introduce you to Sheena. Oh, she is are the we? Yes, no, we're filming we're right oh now. Gosh, I just hi. met her two days ago and I told Kelly, oh, I said, wait till you meet this woman, <laughs> you're gonna be in love. She <laughs> owns and runs this little farm and they're sort of self-sufficient, aren't you? Yeah, somewhat. I mean, like, we're the beginners of homesteading. So, uh, I would call us the modern homesteader. What about <laughs> this? What about this? Oh my gosh. Okay, so she's new. This is our uh, milk cow, Ruthie. She's a standard Jersey. Um, and anyway, yeah, <laughs> so we just milk her once a day in the morning and um, keep a calf on her. Uh, so then I only have to milk once a day for my sanity. But anyway, yeah, and she's just always hungry. Well, Luke, but... my six-year-old, it's his birthday, and he said he was dying for a fresh drink of milk. <laughs> and so did Tanner. <laughs> okay, okay, well, let's we, like just I show said, us. A quick clip of how you do it. I don't want to bother you in the middle of the day, but... Well, I mean, do you, I can try right here. Usually I put her in a stanchion, but... Let's put um, her in there how you okay, normally okay. would do it. Okay, okay. I mean, I usually put her in, and then... I'm, this isn't the full process, because She's I, hungry. <laughs> she is hungry, I know. Okay, She's sweet. like, them babies be... <laughs> yes. And then also her horns, um, where we got her from, they put a paste on them, because otherwise they're very pointy. Um, and it just kind of docks them, so if people are curious. There we go, good girl. Aww. Oh, the little kitty! I know. And the kittens! I know. So this is like our uh, big do. We're just. My husband built this mansion. This was just a practice to see if this was like a good fit. And I, um, I love 
love no pain. It's actually Our entire very life is a practice. We do something new almost every day. Yeah, so I mean, obviously this is an ideal condition, but we didn't know how, if we'd keep her or not because taking on a milk cow is a lot of responsibility because you got to milk it every day. Okay. And um, if you don't, then she'll develop mastitis and skin issues and she'll mm -hmm. get sick and stuff. So anyway. But yeah, so this is like my little magic barn here. We got the bunny and we uh -oh. got the uh -oh. The kids are coming in for a drink. Okay. Oh, yeah. We'll let her out. Come here. This is actually her baby. This is Betty. Um, <laughs> she's like, wait, what? And she's crossed with it. Black Angus. But anyway, yeah, shut the gate. Look, okay. come here. So typically to get... So this is kind of silly, but when you milk, just like when a human milks, you have to have a letdown. So you I've never get, milked before. Well, you <laughs> but like I know it's 2022 and all, but I haven't milked yet. <laughs> no, but anyway, like as a breastfeeding mom, you have a letdown. And so to stimulate, you got to stimulate the udder. So you actually take a brush and you kind of brush her down. Kind of stimulates her? Yep, it does. Yep. And then it also kind of gets any like... So there's any mud or manure or anything and then I don't like I said I don't have the rags We've got guineas. We got cell phones kids cats and all this is just our life I'm as interested in this as anything though. So um, like I said, I didn't stimulate that well, but um, Luke, get in here. I don't like I said, I don't know if she'll she's pretty low on her milk and you can feel when the milk drops down into the teat. You'll see the teat swell, um, up. swell up some, but. Wow, that was a lot. That was like a half a drink. But Luke, you I wanna mean, try it? Anyway, gotta... so when you do milk, you start at the top and then you push down. So, and then you gotta let the milk come back into the teat. Like I said, she doesn't have much. So you start up top and then you pinch it and then you push down. And then I'll watch the leg. So you gotta really, you gotta t get your hand way up there, and then, oh, here, maybe we'll try the back one. Look, what? Oh, here, look, come here. Get on your knees. She's gonna give you a drink of milk. You gotta lean over. No. no. <laughs> How about Dad? Tanner, Tanner. Tanner. All right. Everyone. Oh gosh, I'll try my best, Tanner. Okay. <laughs> oh crap! If I could get it. Oh, <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Tanner, you are so I said, No way! I didn't Boy, get you! Need more. There we go! <laughs> Tanner, you just took it for the team. Look, Jake, you want to try it? <laughs> Little Roberts, Sorry, you probably you tried it before. No, I have not, and I'm not going to. Oh, do I have I'm some on my face? Yes, yes, it does look I'm like you got here. some bad stuff on your face. What an animal. But well, this is about awesome that you do this. Yeah, oh, I love it. Like I said, Warm she's your <laughs> best friend. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, so I actually really enjoy In the mornings, like I said, the milk just flows like crazy. Um, but like I said, right now she's had the two calves nursing on her, so we just don't have much. But I haven't anyway. seen Tanner that excited in a while. <laughs> you want some? No. Are you sure? I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> yeah. Luke, well, you know, where's okay. Luke? Luke, so, get up. Luke, get up and come here and feel um, her. Dad, get over here and feel this. Everybody in the world needs to know this. This is literally where we came from, and this is how we all exist, yeah. is by doing things like this. And if so, you can take your kids somewhere to experience this, you should. Trust me. Get over here, Jake. I'm feel yourself. Sure, you can uh, we're not saying you have to drink the milk, but feel what she's explaining, how you have to stimulate the teeth. Yeah, and then that pulls the milk down. So. Yeah, honey, 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 honey. She comes with fruity pebbles on the side. <laughs> yeah. How much milk can you get off of her each time you do it? So, actually, um, since I calf share and we've had issues with the other two quarters, um, I, get, I just milk these two quarters and I get about a gallon and a half. A each day? Time. A day, just once in the morning on two quarters. Holy, wow. I would have never guessed that. So, I mean, it's a gallon to a gallon and a quarter, a gallon and a half. And you can make butter and all kinds of yeah, stuff, right? I do, yep. I make butter and ice cream so far. Hey, That's kind of good. Emmy, let Kelly yeah. try it. Yeah, you want to try it again, honey? Sure. It's like I said, it's so tricky to get that. You got to get your hand way. You got to get a whole hand. Like, you got to put it right there. And then you got to put it way up in there, pumpkin. And then we got to give it a little. There you go. There you go. There, you I can assure you, she's being a lot more gentle than oh. them calves are. What you want to do is you want to get right here. You want to try to get on the side and have your shoulder on her shoulder and just sit there, and that's how you break them. Hey, excuse me. We're not. We're not interested in your extended car warranty. I love this thing. We need to get one.
Kelly should go pet the calm cow. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Look at her over here. Thank you very much. Half a bottle if you guys want to feed him. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here. Hello. Hello. Hey, good, baby. Hey, little buddy. Hey, little buddy. Look, baby, just give me kisses. Oh, you're so sweet. It's so cute. Dog's like, yo, what's up, homie? Look at, look at, look, chasing the guineas. Babe, the cow loves me. See what you get for your birthday? Yeah. The calf gets to suck on your hand. <laughs> oh, your hand is, that's disgusting. Y'all, this baby calf is bottle fed in low, ow. This thing got teeth. Hey, hey, it's got some serious water. power though. Y'all check that out right there. Little nugget of love. So all I do is take a toothpick like this. This is more like a appetizer portion take one chunk of turkey another piece of onion piece of pepper bada bing bada bang these are good too because a lot of times when you make big kebabs you get so much on there and somebody doesn't want all of that when you make them small like this people get to eat you know just the right amount they don't feel like they're wasting a ton of stuff I'm ready to eat too, I know that. So let's make the marinade. I've got some Mama Sweets oyster sauce. About that much. This is where it's gonna get a little bit interesting. A little bit of wasabi. Got some ginger. Got some garlic. What does the oyster sauce taste like? You can have to find out. It's good though. We got some lemonade. You don't need a bunch, but that much. Let's stir that up. I'm actually gonna paint it on the kebabs. I'm not gonna soak them in it. Smell that. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good old garlic salt. You cannot go wrong with Lowry's garlic salt. How about Tanner taking him a drink of old mama's milk? I did that. I wish to gosh. I wish I could find the picture that my mom had of me doing that in elementary school. And that's why I wanted to go there. As soon as I saw that milk cow. Back in kindergarten, that memory just come flowing back. Jerry Thomas Elementary School in Jupiter, Florida. Somebody brought a dairy cow for show and tell, which I don't even know how that came about, but it did. Of course, I had to step up and get me a little drink of milk, milk. One more thing. Just because we're gonna be eating raw tuna with this, and we gotta give it that little island Hey. Got the grill set at 350. Probably gonna take about five minutes on each side. And this is just an appetizer, folks. The long-tailed bass is gonna be the main entry. Entree. But would you look at that? This is pretty cool. I haven't tried a new fish in a very long time. Why don't you explain to him how we cook the fish real quick? Uh, so all we did is put some Lari's garlic salt on it and seared it in coconut oil with a little bit of butter. Did you put another seasoning on it while I was gone? Nope, just Lowry's. No. Oh, okay. When I was cooking it, it kind of looked like a tilefish. It's kind of tough, well, from what I can see in the pan, but it flakes super easy, kind of like a snapper. Super, super white. I wasn't expecting that. It falls apart in your mouth like a vermilion, but it looks like a tilefish. That's interesting. It's really good though. 
And whoever had the mashed potato joke, the mashed potato comment, you're kind of right. It falls apart like mashed potatoes. <laughs> That's so weird. It's good though. It's so interesting. How about these little kebabs though? That's where it's at. I'm still stuck on the mashed potato. Mmm. So good. Huge shout out to Mr. John Gully for giving us these awesome new chopsticks. Mm, so good. I'm gonna have a turkey. I fished my absolute butt off to catch these two fish. But in all reality, that's all I needed was two because we only cooked half of this fish. I took the flay. I like to cut it up in thirds. That way it all cooks evenly. Because if you cook one big flay, the shoulder part, the back part, will cook slower than the rest and the fish won't be cooked evenly. But this raw tuna right here and some soy and wasabi. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. I actually caught another tuna too on the butterfly jig, the vertical jig, AKA Johnny jig. But, I'll take it. Two for Tuesdays on the black fin tuna on the Johnny Jigs. That's two trips in a row that I've been on that the vertical jigs outfish live bait. That is true. And you caught black fin tuna both times. Yep. Now I caught the bigger black fin tuna on a live sardine, but the smaller one and the long tail came on the vertical jig. Hmm. These green beans, if you haven't seen my video in the Keys where I cooked on the beach, put some coconut oil in the pan, put the lid on and cook them at medium until they're done with sea salt. And you gotta get the, the French green yeah. beans. There's a difference. <laughs> Holy mackerel. I don't know what it is. The, the French green beans are a little bit thinner. Oh, they're so good. Now this right here is the rest of the turkey that we didn't put on the kebabs just so we can snack on it throughout the day. Because these little jokers are gonna go quick. And you gotta pick up the kids soon, so that's the lunch. <laughs> Man, that's good. I like the pineapple. Mmm. I feel like pineapple on the grill is a Florida thing. For those of y'all watching, I wish y'all were here and could eat with us on all of our meals, but this one especially. Fresh long tail bath, fresh black fin tuna. It doesn't get any better. Fresh turkey that Luke just busted a cap in. It definitely fell apart like Vermilion or Lane. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Or if you make like those German um, mashed uh, potato cakes, like you mash them and then you like fry them. That's like kind of what it tastes like. Cause it's thin. I hope y'all like this video. A little bit of cast and blast, a little bit of Nebraska, a little bit of Stewart, Florida. Right now, though, we got to gobble up this food. I've got to go get the boys from school. No pun intended. What did I say? Gobble up this food. <laughs> yeah, I got to gobble up this food because we're going to go fish gigging tonight. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. But right now, I got to take this bite of tuna. So we're getting the heck up out of here and getting the heck out of shape. See y'all.